Hello, welcome. Um, today we're going to talk about how uh, to apply loads to your connections. So it's very important that the loads is in equilibrium and that uh, the model type is correct and the position of forces is also uh, selected uh, correctly. So this is especially for new users, but uh, this, is, this also applies for um, experienced users as well. So the first topic is uh, loads in uh, equilibrium. Uh, basically, it means that you have to input the internal forces for all members so that the forces in, is in balance and that the node is in equi equilibrium. Uh, it has to be like that uh, by the law of uh, statics. And the only exception is, of course, uh, footings or anchoring. And in the software, you will find the button loads in equilibrium located here. And when you input all your forces, you should always check this tab or the table down here, unbalanced forces. It should be zero in all the boxes. That way you know that the node is in equilibrium. That's a more safer approach. Um, next topic is uh, model type. Um, use this uh, model type to specify more precisely the correct behavior of the member. Uh, so by choosing the different cases, we select what forces can be applied to the member. Uh, all the other degrees of freedom are restricted. And a general rule is that a member should take the same internal forces as in a model of a structure. And sometimes this is it is necessary and in this case we have a one bolt connection typically for a wind bracing and if we leave the default model type we will have the extra moment induced by the eccentricity of the connection and the forces uh, well the prying forces uh, the prying moment that will rotate and deformate the member and the results will be uh, incorrect. So that's why we change this model type for uh, this uh, kind of, uh, uh, yeah, we only allow normal forces and shear force in the Y and set direction. And now we have correct uh, model and correct deformations. So you see the wrong type and the correct type for this uh, model. And the last topic is position of uh, forces. So uh, when modeling uh, hinged connections, it is uh, necessary to change the position of the acting load, the shear force, into the place where the hinge is assumed to be. Uh, this position will also be the point with the zero bending moment. So you can de define forces in the nodes, uh, in the bolts, in a specific uh, position, in a X position and also connected member face. So let's look at it more uh, closely. <clears throat> Here we have uh, the real shape of the joint and next to it we have the theoretical shape of the model and those are different um, and what we usually do is to input, input the internal forces from the simplified structural model and the nodal force of moment and shear, like this. Now, uh, if you have a semi-rigid or rigid connection, you have the moment and shear force, uh, that's all right. And you don't have to do any changes to this. But in case you have a hinge connection, uh, typically a fin plate with one, one bolt or two bolts, um, there is a zero moment in the connection. In the theoretical global model, it looks like uh, this connection on the left side. But in the real model, the hinge is located in a X distance from the node. So the hinge is uh, formed in the fin plate and, and the moment should be zero in the position of the hinge. Normally where the bolt is, like in this example uh, on the right. Uh, how can we move this 
zero point, uh, well, in Idea Statica, um, it uses the real model and not the theoretical one. So we have to choose where the zero uh, will be. So we can choose in the pull down menu uh, in the software. It looks like this. We choose the member and go to the forces in. And by default, it's node. And if you want to see the forces, then go to the transparent or the wireframe view. And you can now see how the moment that is induced by the shear force, we can try to change it from node to bolts. So this is the correct position. Now we see that there is zero moment in the position of the bolts or the hinge. And we can also choose the position and input the correct position. Uh, if you have a different kind of uh, connection, you can choose connected member face, then it will be in the in the face of the connected members. But uh, in this case, uh, bolts is the most uh, used one. And yeah, the deformations and the results is quite clear when you look at the wrong kind of input you will uh, end up with moment in this hinge and the deformation is uh, completely wrong. And here is the correct one and you can trust these results. Thank you.